Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can easily rig this octopus tentacle and make it react dynamically. So first we need a bone system. So we'll create a bone using character joints. Now this is a joint that was created. Now we push that onto the root. We'll change the view. Zoom in and then push it at the end of the tip of the object. Then we'll hold control and left mouse click to make it copy. So there. I think this joint should be around somewhere here. Now let's put that here. And the second joint will we'll just put it here and we'll make the second joint a child of the first joint so there you go you have a connection between these two joints and then we'll select the second joint and hold control and make and drag with left mouse button and create a copy and then the third joint will become a child of the sec second joint and this goes on like you have to repeatedly do this create a copy make a child create a copy make a child create a copy make a child so i'll just fasten this video so that you don't have to go through all of this yeah so we have a rig bone system but we'll change the view and see if it matches with the object over here i think we should move it a little bit down Hmm. Over here. Let me move this over here. Again. Just adjusting the points so that the auto weight system in Cinema 4D weights the joints properly. The better you set the bones into the right positions, the better the auto weight system is going to recognize what it's going to need and where it should uh, draw the weights. Yeah, so the last joint should be on the tip. Or somewhere around here. Yeah. So a joint system is ready. Now we what we want to do is close all the joints, bring that over here. So this is a joint system. And this is our object. So we'll just open all of the joint systems. Select the first one, hold shift, select the last one. And then again, keep on holding shift and select our object. Once all of this is selected, then what we'll do is we'll go into the character commands and bind 
let's just wait yeah so the object has just been binded on, on the skin on the bones so what cinema 4d did it it applied the skin deformer and which can be controlled by the joints so if we move if we try to move our joint let's say our root joint the whole object is gonna move so we have rigged but let us let's just check if the weights in the rig system are proper so we click this weight expression weight tag over here double click and see right here the cinema body has shown like the weights all of the weights of different bones now, i'm happy with this weights but if you aren't like if there are you know like if this yellow is passing on to orange or the red is passing on to hair or something and else like color glitches and stuff so you'll want to auto weight but since i'm happy with this weight i won't do that so uh, so we'll create an ik so to create an ik we'll select the root and go to character tags and select the ik tag now we want the ik to you know be the root from the root to the tip of the tentacle so we gonna we're gonna select not the tip but the joint above the tip so we don't want to move the tip we just need to move the joint above the tip so we'll select ik tag and then drag that joint onto the end and since we don't need a goal what goal does is it just keeps the uh, tip of the ik in line with the root but in this case we don't need that we need to go to the dynamics tab and just enable the dynamics so once you enable the dynamics and let's just play the animation 500 frames and as you can see this thing has become like something limpy i don't know <laughs> yeah so what we need to do is uh, you just need to experiment with these sliders like try increasing the drag to 10 try increasing the strength to 70 or something oh try increasing the rotation hold to something like 45 by decreasing the strength then yeah hmm. yes. uh, let's just give this a tilt so that we can better understand how it's working we'll just tilt it 30 degrees yeah We'll go to the dynamics tab again and then try decreasing. See, you can see as as I decrease the strength of the, it goes down and down. The st actual strength of the IK keeps decreasing. And you need to increase, like if you increase the rotation hold, then it's gonna, you know, hold the rotation of the like, actual position of the object but if you keep decreasing it 
it's gonna go down like it has more options to rotate so i suggest you keep it somewhere between 50 i don't know it depends on the object you are trying to make yeah so you can just you know play with this yeah it's pretty fun yeah so that ends the tutorial if you have any questions drop a comment and do like and subscribe this video if you found this tip to be helpful okay